Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original movie Juanita. I'm going to be straight with you. For the first 25 minutes of this movie, I wanted to switch it off multiple times, but I'm glad I stuck with it though. Mom! Juanita is about a mother who has had enough. She needs a change in pace in life. Her one son is in jail, the one that she thought that would never end up there, and her other one might be going the same way, following the same path. Her daughter has had a child, but, show no, but shows no signs of looking after her own child. And so Juanita, the grandmother, ends up being the childminder to not only her adult kids, but also her grandchild as well. In between looking after her kids, Juanita works as a nurse and her spare time is always spent looking after her family rather than herself. She realizes that she's not doing them any favors and decides to leave home and go on a trip. What? Juanita buys a bus ticket to Buta. I believe it's pronounced Butte. I had no idea that was a real place. I thought it was a fake place, but it's real apparently. I certainly never heard of it. So she goes off on this trip and leaves her adult kids to fend for themselves that's the first 25 minutes of the movie and it's so slow and so strange which is why i almost switched it off there is this mechanic where juanita will talk to the camera to the viewer and explain how she's feeling about things about what's going on in a certain situation and at the at the beginning this was very off-putting and with the added slowness of the opening i thought nope I'm not going to make it through this movie. It's not for me, it's not aimed at my demographic. I had all the excuses running through my head because I, I honestly wasn't enjoying the beginning of this film. That might be the problem right there. But after getting that initial 25 minutes of setting up how they're going to do this film, Juanita meets a rather large gay truck driver on her journey to Buta. And from that moment on, the tone and feeling of the movie changes. It's still slow, but the characters that she meets are very interesting. The film takes her culture, which is kind of ghetto, she mentions this herself in the film, she talks to the camera and tells you about that, and it mixes it, mixes it with another. <laughs> How Juanita reacts to being in open space for the first time in her life and meeting other people and different cultures kept me really engaged. It was really interesting to see how she reacted to these new goings on. There are a multitude of great actors in this film as well. Juanita herself is played by Alfred Woodard. This is not the first time she has worked with the director of this movie either. She worked with Clark Johnson, who also directed two seasons of Luke Cage, which um, Alfred Woodard also starred in. She was one of the main characters. The acting in this is strong, and I think it's partially helped by the characters that are created for them to portray they're really interesting characters so you get to do a lot as an actor I imagine this is quite fun to play that's what i'm talking about uh, it's certainly not a film i've seen before i've never seen a film about an african-american woman who's constantly breaking the fourth wall who leaves her kids to find herself then to help her to try and integrate herself into a native american small town culture it's very different for sure and even when I'd seen it, I wasn't sure I was ever wanting to watch it again. But then I explained to my wife, I was trying to explain to her about this film and found myself being intrigued, intrigued all, over, all over again by the film and like, okay, I kind of want to watch it again. Oh. Juanita's character interactions, how she interacts with the culture she's now discovering, the moments where she's outside for the first time and she's looking at these vast mountainscapes and her character just doesn't know how to react. She's never really had this amount of space, she's encountering new relationships and new friendships and this actually makes for quite an enjoyable film to watch. It's got an, it's an interesting concept, it's very out there. I didn't know what to make out of it as I said at the beginning and then to, after that initial burst I was like, oh, I'm kind of interested, this is, a, this is a weird one for me. I have nowhere, no idea where to place it. I'm going to give Juanita a B-. Let me know what you thought about the film, did you enjoy it more than me? Did you maybe hate it or not even make it all the way through? Or did you find it that was really interesting and would you have rated it higher than me? Thanks for watching my review of Juanita. If you like my content, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you don't miss any further content from me. Thank you for supporting me as always. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate it. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.